Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Haven't had one in a while, so I thought I'm going to do this little mod that I've been trying to do for the last how many years. I've had the parts and stuff, but they just sit there on the shelf um, and, and wait for that right time till I get a little bit angry, frustrated, upset. It's a mod for these barn doors for the Nissan patrols. For those people that get annoyed by the door when you open it up, and doesn't stay open while well, you got to put things in there using two hands sometimes I'll get a piece of timber or something and prop it up or conduit being an electrician conduit to hold it from the inside but um, it's just so annoying and um, and keeps doing that so I ended up buying a few years back actually a gas strut uh, that's just a little gas strut that's um, fairly strong. I want to make sure that door stays open. Damn. Oh, there you go. So that's what I got. And um, what I, it comes with these little uh, mounts. So that's a 12 mil socket. I've got a deep socket, so it helps. But I think a normal socket would fit over that. Well, that's an 8 mil uh, thread, so I'm going to use nutserts, that's these, one for each end, where this is going to screw into, and the nutserts you do with this tool. Alright, but I thought before we even do that, I also bought this little thing which is a bracket to replace the factory bracket so the door can open a little bit more like that's not fully 90 degrees that bracket allows it to actually go a little bit more further with that I got um, those tools you'll need a marker um, just to mark where you're going to drill you'll need a 10 mil or 11 mil bits, sorry, because this nuts it for an 8 mil, it's an 11 mil drill bit. If you don't have an 11 mil, you can use a 10 mil and just wiggle it around a bit, make it a bit wider just to fit that nuts it in. But I've got an 11 mil bit, so that will fit straight through. Um, I've got another drill bit for a pilot hole. Um, if you want to really be accurate, you can use a punch just to get you know, uh, precisely in the middle of that, but I think I'll manage with that pilot. Um, to open up the factory bracket, which is here on the door, you'll need a 10 mil. So I'll um, put that on, on this little impact and do it with that one. That's why that one's there. I've got the grinder out just in case. And um, just for the Americans, Milwaukee, these are genuine batteries. <laughs> They're Euro and Aussie style batteries. But uh, these are your batteries, American batteries. So yeah, I got both. I also got the earmuffs out in case I do use the grinder. As I'm getting older, I'm becoming more conscious <laughs> and, uh, and using some of this safety gear. I got the safety glasses, couldn't be bothered using goggles, so I'll just use safety glasses in case I've got to drill something out. And I got my good old comfortable Oliver boots in case I drop something so I don't hurt my toes. So just a little bit um, safety conscious here. Let's get into it. So this, we've got to cut this um, this little um, bolt that's in there. You can't pull it out, so you just got to cut a little bit there and then pull it out. This is where the grinder is going to be useful. So put your earmuffs on. 
too tight. Just be careful so you don't cut your fingers off. Plus this doesn't have a protection around it. If you want to go the extra mile, you could cover all this for sparks, but they're only tiny and um, I'm thinking of respraying the car anyway in the uh, future, so couldn't be bothered covering it. All right, now we've just got to pop that out. Better, better take the earmuffs off, I might be screaming. some pliers. So more tools needed than what I origi originally stated. Uh, just to pull these things out. Okay, it's a 14 on this end and an Allen key 6 mil. Yep, it's a 6 mil Allen key. And then we reuse the existing bolt, put it back in the factory location. Give it a wipe. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, it opens that extra. You can actually tell already. Opens that bit extra. So now it's proper 90 degrees. Yep. And it doesn't affect the light either. It just stops um, before hitting the light. Now we're going to measure where we're going to drill the holes for this. So the bottom side, I want to put it down on here. And the other side, there's a little lip here just under the trim. And, um, and it should fit there. These are swivable, so it can go in an angle like that. All right, now we're going to mark the strut out so where i was thinking of putting it if you close the door and have a look in the cavities slightly you will notice that there is plenty of space in there to fit the strut and let's install our first one so roughly i'll mark the middle of it where the mount is going and then drill. So 
So that's our nut cert. I'll put the nut cert right to the edge here. Just about there. Mark a little reference line so I know. And then basically the hole will be about there. Just a little bit more forward. There you go. And um, now pilot drill that. Oh, there's more underneath. What the heck? What the heck? Let's hope, um, well, that's not gonna, that's not gonna clear. We might have to drill all the way to clear the nuts. Up. I can see through the hole. Uh, it's more metal. I guess it's all a part of the structure. There you go. Now we'll do our 11 mil hole. Got a low torque. Yep, I can see the bottom now. You can see the ground. Now we just need to vacuum that, but um, I'll use the Milwaukee blower. That's the quick way of just spreading all the <laughs> rubbish everywhere. Couldn't be bothered getting a vacuum. It's all right. There's our nuts, at snug fit. Now we get it on the gun. you want to do you want to go really tight so this will how do you do it again oh, this is undoing it let's see let's see what it looks like Yeah, that looks pretty good. It doesn't hold a lot of weight. It's basically just the door. The door's light as. So now we'll put this one on there. That's it, that's nice and tight. We'll chuck this one. There you go. Now we set the limit here. Find the center, center of the hole. You can go a little bit in just to make sure if you're too worried. Like a couple of mil in won't hurt, 
But here, just to check this as well, if the door closes as is, beautiful. Oh, nothing in the way. The whole strut fits right under there nicely. And now we do the same thing with this pilot hole, 11 mil hole, and nuts it. The only thing is, you've got to drill a little bit in an angle here. It's all right, it's very thin there. Fix it a little bit, the drill bit pulled it out. Here yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll put it. So just push it in a little bit. Oh, it's so strong. There you go. The door is holding. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. Oh no. Oh no, that doesn't work. All right guys, what a stuff up that was. Um, I don't know how I did my calculations, but um, that obviously proved wrong. So yeah, when you come to realize, how's that gonna friggin' compress that much? Look at that. I don't know what I've measured, but um, you know what? I went to the shop and got another one, $17, just under $17, can't complain. So I'll just do that now. I'll get some pliers, cut this off, side cutters. We won't need those nuts, and um, so we'll take this one off. We can use our existing one there. Are they the same? Yeah, feels the same. All right, now we'll move that one over here. So let's open the door. Now we can measure exactly where. Luckily, it's just in front of this um, uh, lump there. So this one, this new one I picked up has, uh, it's 325 mil long shaft and has 120 mil travel. So it should still work. All right, now let's quickly drill these out again and get the job finished. 
Bloody, what a disappointment that was. The beauty of having more than one drill is you don't have to change over bits. I normally use a step drill as well, but um, for this situation, I didn't know how deep or what's underneath, so I didn't want it to go too far. There's this um, circlip with a pin to lock it in. So put the pin and then click it in. Same down here. Yeah, that's it. All right. That's pretty solid. Let's see how that works. Look at that, and see, I've got about 20 mil spare there. Exactly 100 mil travel on that. Freaking awesome mod. All right, let's have a look how this works from the back with both doors. Oh, wow. Don't even have to slam the door anymore. Wow. <laughs> wow. There you go, I'm so happy. I waited years to actually do this. It was annoying, but finally I've done it and I can't wait to actually put it in action. I hope you guys liked it and I hope it helps someone else. Just don't make the same mistake I did. Don't make the strut close on itself, but make sure it pivots like this. There you go. I hope that helps every other patrol owner and makes life easier for you guys. Until next time, see you. Wow.